Crafty Moo Sarah in the yarn barn back again. As I said in my previous um, video, I would be doing an Amigurumi video because Moo's got into Amigurumi. I can no longer say I don't do Amigurumi, which has always been my mantra. I've always loved Amigurumi and I love the look of them, but I've always been, as you can see, I've got a moo from Christina. I've Christina, Bella and Ginetto. I've got a moo from the obsessive crochet lady, Amanda. I just wanted to say panda. This is my panda moo. I've got seven, do seven dwarves in there, which I was gifted from Radwa, who won them. Uh, in a giveaway with Sam from Manfa's Makes and Sam made every single one of those. There's more behind. There are seven dwarves there. I've got a little pumpkin there that I've made. That was the that was my kind of ambigurumi would be the odd thing now and again. And Kerry the Yarny Elephant commissioned this move for me. So I have always adored amigurumi. I love, love, love them, but I never wanted to make them. Um, I think it was because when I really loved them, everyone was making like the big kraken and big dragons. and They were all big and huge and it quite daunted me. And I thought, no, 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 no. And it's all single crochet. And I'm it's not my favourite stitch, single crochet. But if it's little amigurumi, then... I've got into it now because, and the lovely thing about Am Amigurumi is it's very portable. So I can take little projects to work and do them. I can take it in the car. You know, it's it's fabulous. So I thought I would show you some of my recent makes. I have put pictures on Instagram, Facebook, on my community tab, um, but I thought I would show you. So I have made Mrs C's Cottage. I will put links to everyone down here. Um, Christina at Bella and Chinetto, who made me this gorgeous purple cow here. She is desperately trying to get to a thousand subscribers. So if you could share her out and, and uh, give her some shout outs, that would be good. And Manda Panda, who made this little moo, obsessive crochet lady. She's desperately trying to get to 700 subscribers too. So yeah, yeah, yeah. And Kerry the Arne Elephant. Kerry doesn't do um, videos, but she does a live every day. Um, and she does bingo. And she has some lovely people up on her panels. So please go and show them all some lovely yarny love. And Mamphas makes Sam. She is, she's got fabulous content. She puts a video up every day, something different every day. It's wonderful. Please, 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 if you don't know these people, please go and subscribe and watch some videos. And they've all got fabulous channels. So, I Mrs C's Cottage... Um, is really well known for her sun bunnies and she sends them out to people and uh, makes sun bunnies for people and they have a little story with them etc etc and she started uh, doing tutorials on her sun bunny pattern and we were all following along each Sunday and she's doing more tutorials now I think she's um she's just done an elephant um and I got into it. So I have made, I must, I will show you. I've made this one, just a white sun bunny with a little bomb bomb tail. Little sun bunny. It's my first sun bunny. And it's a very special one. And I can't tell you who it's going to be for because it's a surprise. But I am over the moon with that. I, I'm just amazed that I made it and that it does look like a bunny because I thought it might end up looking like, I don't know what, an alien. Because I've only just got into this, but I thoroughly made, loved making that. So that's going to be for someone in the future. And I have also gone on to make for my two granddaughters for Easter, our two granddaughters for Easter, these, these sun bunnies. 
One's got a yellow tail, one's got a cream tail. And I'm going to put, probably put their initials on their feet. But I am over the moon with these. They've both got different faces. They've both got different characters. Mrs. C, your pattern and your tutorials are absolutely fabulous. And if you don't know Mrs. C's cottage, please pop over and go and learn how to make a sun bunny. It's absolutely fabulous. She did it through lives. So have a look on her lives and you'll see her tutorials, her weekly tutorials. And if not, if you want to catch her live, it's on a Sunday. Have a look on her channel. You'll see. There you go. I'll put a link to her channel below. Aren't they gorgeous? I'm over the moon with those as well. And I'll show you what how I'm going to give them to them. Bear with me because I've just dropped. Something's just fallen out of what I'm going to show you. So I have bought my, sorry, my, our two granddaughters are called Freya and Hestia. And I've got this basket for them for Easter. I've got them a little pair of bunny ear headbands to put to wear and there will of course be Easter chocolates in there for them too. I'm going to go out, um, I'll probably go out tomorrow and uh, and get some Easter chockies because I know I like the little chocolate lint bunnies, I like little chocolates for them, I don't want to give them a great big load, they're only little and I uh, don't want to make them sick. And we're going to see them on Saturday because we're away for Easter to my son who lives in Norfolk and his fiance. So we're going there for Easter. And uh, so we're going to go and see the granddaughters this weekend and take their little box. And I thought this box is fabulous because what they can do then is give the box back to Nanny Moo and Nandad and uh, we can fill it up for next year. So I thought that was a good idea. I got that off Amazon and you can have it custom made with the names that you want for your, your children. So that was one of my amigurumi, three of my amigurumis. Now the next amigurumis I want to show you are, I haven't got the book with, oh, have I? Yes, I have. Sam Manfords Makes and Amanda, the obsessive crochet lady have got a collaboration going on and it's a bi-monthly um, sort of crochet along or knit along. Some people are trying to adapt and I think might be doing a knit along, I'm not sure. Oh no, that might have been the sun bunnies. I might be getting mixed up there. But it, they're doing a collaboration which is called Year of the Impkins and we are using this book. by Megan Lapp and in January they had a live and on the live they told us what because you you have a choice there's two choices of standing impkin bodies there's two cho choices of sitting impkin bot bodies two choices of arms and legs and then you get choices of hats little mini wearables um horns, hair, all sorts. Um, so, and each, every two months, Sam and Amanda have a live and we choose the next impkin we're going to make. And you don't have to just make one impkin and you can just make one impkin. Um, but the first one was a sitting impkin um with with a with this hat and a scarf and this is the one i made her hat comes off she's got a little scarf and her hat go oh her hat goes on there you go and i just think they are the cutest little thing and she had to have a daisy because a daisy is moo's favorite flower they're such happy little flowers and um, whoops and she's got her little sparkly eyes pink sparkly eyes so I did that one and I oh 
blooming hat. I'm going to stitch the hat to her head because I'm fed up. Your hat keeps falling off and it's no good. So there we go. Crafty Moo will have to stitch. So that was that one. And then I've got this little chap. I had to make her a little friend to go with it. And I did a standing one. And he's got the same colour um, hat and waistcoat as her hat and scarf. And I found a little mini walking stick for him. And he's got blue eyes. And I did stitch his hat to his head so it doesn't fall off. And I just think they are adorable. Absolutely adorable. Aren't they the cutest? And I think together they're such a cute little couple. There we go. Aren't they the cutest? Now I have named them and I can't remember their names but I'll put it in the... I know she's Inga but I can't remember what his name was now. And then, so, and we you, we make them over two months. So they tell you what all the um, parts are that we've got to put together. And it's up to us what colours we use and etc. And, you know, and make them ours. So this, uh, so that one was for January, February. And we're now doing March, April. And March, April... I got mine finished. It doesn't matter. You can take as long as you like. Some people haven't started theirs yet. So, and it was, this is my one. And she has the spiky ears, the horns, and the curly tail. And that's my one for this month. Now she's... I don't know why, but her head will not stand up straight. I think it's possibly where she's got a straw in there. So her head won't fall off, but but it gives them character, doesn't it? They don't all have to sit and stand the same way. And then, of course, being Mo, I had to make another one. I had to have her make a little pair. And I made this one in the same colour yarn. And the same colour accessories as that one with the hair. But did this one with a little tutu. She's got a little tutu and a crown and the pink eyes. And that one's got the dark, darker pink eyes. So these two are sisters. There we go. I just love them. They are such fun to make. And when you you don't want to sit down and do a big project or a heavy project, they're just lovely to pick up. And as I say, my collar's all wonky. And they're just lovely little things to take to work with you. Absolutely fantastic. So that's three sun bunnies and four imkins. And for someone who doesn't do amigurumi, I'm doing darn good. Because I do actually have the beginnings of another impkin started but this one I'm leaving I might take this away with me at Easter and play with this one but so you can see you can see which one Moo is making but my one is all sparkly there you go I mustn't show the patterns but so my one does have the sparkly, but the white is sparkle as well. And I've got a little bit of the body done. Not quite. There you go. There we go. So that is my fifth impkin. <laughs> Sam and Amanda, what have you got me into? Now, that's it for um, the impkins that everybody would want to see. I am now giving you a warning that you may not want to see the next um, amigurumi that I show you because it's a naughty one. It's a bit risque. Nova over at Nova Gnomes Creation was challenged <laughs> to do a pocket peen gnome. 
So I am warning you now, if you've, you're quite happy watching what you've watched and you don't want to see the next, it's sensitive part of this video, I totally understand, switch off and, you know, don't worry. But she, oh, she, I found it. She, um, she's written a pattern for a pocket peen. And here's, I'm going to show it now. So if you don't want to see, switch off. Toodaloo and thank you for watching so far. So here we go. Here's Arnie Conda. And there he is in all his glory. And of course, I love purple and mauves. So he had to have purple plums, didn't he? There you go. And he'll be sitting in my yarn barn because I don't want him downstairs where the grandchildren can find him. And have to explain that one. I don't think mummy and daddy would be too. But I am over the moon with that. And Nova has got a pattern on Ravelry for this little chappy. So pop over. And uh, I'm not, is it Ravelry? She's got a, I'll put the link below. But so quick to make and so easy and such fun. And um, my husband said, I don't know what to say. So if you don't know what to say, don't say anything. <laughs> Gave me a funny look. But hey, it's a bit of fun. It's a little bit of innocent fun. So thanks, Nova. It's fabulous, fabulous, fabulous pattern. And I had much fun making that. And I actually think I think I should make a bigger one. But that's enough. It's not that kind of channel. So, yeah, thank you for coming along. And I hope I haven't offended anyone. But if you watched up, up to the end, thank you very much. Right. An extra little bit to pop in before I say goodbye. Because um, I forgot to say... Oh, don't tell me I haven't brought it. Oh, no, I have brought it up with me. I have found a cow gnome pattern that I'm going to make. I'll put the link to it below. I've only got it in black and white because I've printed it off in black and white. But there we go. Isn't it gorgeous? And it is by Olga Kachenko. And she is on Etsy. I'll put a link to this below. She's quite a new Etsy, Etsy shop owner. Um, and But the pattern is beautifully written. And it's lots of photographs all the way through. I, I'd absolutely, lo yeah, look at this. Look, lots of photographs to help you. Oh, is that upside down? Upside down. To help you all the way through very clear beautifully written i can't wait to get this started i'm not going to do mine black and white i'm going to do mine in these two colors i'm going to do it white and beige in those colors so i can't wait to get started on that one so that will be my next project and i'm going to make this <coughs> um I'm going to make it a little video on its on its own and it will be Moo's Moo. That's what so watch out for my videos called titled Moo's Moo and you'll know it'll be the Amigurumi Moo. Thanks. Bye. Bye. And I'll see you on the next one. I've got to go. Time for work. Bye for now. <laughs> <laughs>